for doing something with a bee, I suppose. <laughs> Good. So, hello and uh, welcome to this uh, Gauntlet Hangout game of uh, The King is Dead. Um, we're going to play some, uh, some uh, Game of Thrones-ish uh, uh, intrigue uh, with the uh, uh, royal dances and uh, sword fights. Uh, with uh, my uh, uh, lovely crew of, of uh, contenters, uh, we have uh, uh, Jordan with us all the way from uh, uh, Japan, and then uh, uh, Matthias and uh, Tina from from Germany here, which is uh, some uh, returning guests on my uh, Wednesday story game ish uh, <laughs> uh, uh, time slot. Or addicts, or or, or that <laughs> possibly. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I have put like this, uh, the, the intro text of the, of the game in, in, uh, World 20. Um, the, the story uh, pitch goes as following, the game pitch goes as following. King of Bantiviv, Eivard III, High Prince of House Dillestone and Sovereign of the Seaward Coast, has died without heir. Civil war is certain. You are a young warrior prince or warrior princess of one of the royal houses of uh, Benaviv. You caught up at, in this looming war of succession. To see your house exalted, you'll have to fight and scheme, ally with your rivals, betray your friends, and fall in love with your enemies. You were born for this. And we'll all play like uh, uh, the main character is going to be like one uh, uh, a person in a, one of these royal houses uh, of this land. Um, and that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to choose a royal house we want to want to play. Uh, you can uh, either go to page five for the very short version or uh, to page uh, 38. 38, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I think... I I uh, have been looking out House uh, Sandor Rail usurpers, but uh, I'm not married to it. So if uh, anybody wants to fight me over it, I, I was thinking about House Lunest, mm -hmm. the the foreign power. So yeah. I'm taking either Entire or Dillstone, I think because it would be nice, as we said, to have the, the ancient contenders in there, too. Mm -hmm. um, Matthias, any preferences? I'm... I'm pretty good um, with any of them. They all sound interesting. So we have Sandoril, um, Entire or Dillstone, and Jordan, you did you say something yet? Uh, Lunest. Lunest. Lunest, okay. Um, I'm, I'm not sure whether to take Entire or Dillstone. Well, if you want one of these two very badly, you can say so. No, I think I like Oak. Okay. <laughs> so sorry for not solving <laughs> your problem. <laughs> I think I'm I'm picking an entire. Cool. So you see, I put uh, like a place for your for our character stuff, uh, and uh, yeah, if if anybody has a preference for a, for a color of their house, they can also do that. I just put mine randomly. I was not really. This was just something I was doing while uh, excitedly looking at the world of uh, the King is Dead. So it's a way too pretty for some, no, no one to see. But uh... okay. Um... I think I'll take the ah. purple. Yeah. And should I? Are there are there boxes there, or should I just put in my own text? Uh, just mm -hmm. uh, put in your own text. I always like red, so if nobody else really wants to. Yeah. 
Take it. Okay. I mean, uh, Matthias is playing the loyal house, so he'll just have to take the one that's left. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. The name is for the um, for the young noble person, right? Mm -hmm. Not for our, for us as players. That's true. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna put the uh... entire. Oh. Tiny. Oh, that's too big. So, oh. <laughs> okay, so the next thing uh, we'll do after this is to uh, assign some uh, uh, assign a name for our character. Um, it's good to choose a name that's easy to remember. You can also it says also you can use your own real name, changing a letter or two if you like. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, I think. But yeah. We need a royal name. I have a my name is not royal enough for that. Oh, how royal would it be? I I already have something. <laughs> oh, there's room for a picture. Mm hmm There is. Oh. Do we start with qualities, uh, or are qualities simply uh, things that are put on us by others in the course of play? We do start with qualities. We do all. It's a part of the character creation. Um, so what we'll do, like after everyone has chosen the name, is that uh, the first thing is that we choose uh, attractive quality for ourselves. We can do it this on like one at a time. Like so, for example, I'll choose. Uh, you see, if you see at page uh, five, there is uh, a list of uh, attractive qualities which you are going to choose from. Um, here, the first thing you're going to choose one for yourself, and then the other players are going to choose uh, one for you. So we'll go like uh, around. Uh, I choose for myself, then uh, you choose one for me. Uh, Matthias choose one for me, and Atina choose one for me. So we'll have like four attractive qualities each. Sigismund. That's a very loyal name. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think I won't. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna start out with this attractive quality thing and choose one for me, and then uh, I'm gonna. Uh, you, you guys are gonna put some other qualities uh, for my character as well. Um. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna choose to. Great, uh, beautiful, or Cedric. Um, do you want to choose a, a, a trait for me, Jordan? Oh, uh, certainly. Um, uh, I think I'm going to put uh, in in a similar lane. Um. God, where was it? Uh, yeah, so you're choosing one for Cedric now, just to assume. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I think musical. There it is, musical. <laughs> and then Matthias? Where are, um, where are the traits? Uh, page five. Page five. Yeah. We have oh, the attractive musical. qualities. Mm -hmm. And what was the first tra trait? Hmm? For me, beautiful. Beautiful and musical, right? <laughs> yeah, I see a theme forming here. <laughs> I like this uh, already. Oh, yeah. Let's go brooding. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to take brooding for myself. You can, oh. uh, you can have the same. That's we can double fun. up. Yeah. You you can all be emo yeah. and goth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, emo. 
Tina can choose uh, choose one for Cedric as well. Yeah. Um, 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 I think I'm already brooding. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ah, I think really accomplished at arms. Such a, yeah, such a, it's, it's like a Lancelot kind of character here. <laughs> cool. So um, then we'll uh, go to uh, uh, Jordan's uh, character, Evelyn, is it? Yep. Um... Which one do you choose for yourself first? Which one do I choose for myself? All right, I'm going to take that in the exact opposite direction. I'm going cheerful. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, we, need we can't to... have we can't have too many brooding nobles. It's true. Sitting sitting in their their dark ancestral seats. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Matthias. We're uh, counting their wrongs. <laughs> Do you have another one for, for Evelyn? Yeah. Educated. Oh. Oh, nice. Um. I'm going with um, thoughtful. All righty then. And you're from the foreign power, right? I think. Uh, huh. Yeah. I, I think, think I think this is going to be an interesting trait. This this will really. There's a couple of different directions it could go here. Yeah. Yeah, I think I want to... Let's see. I think I want it to be uh, practical. <laughs> it's just to put you in more in opposition to Cedric, who's like extremely like non... It, it seems very. to be very unpractical. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Matthias, do you have a, a quality for yourself? Yeah, I'm going for steadfast. Oh, I mean that's the appropriate obvious. from an oak. Yeah, I just uh, I think I have to check back for the name for the houses. Oh, loyal retainers! Wow. Is it my turn, actually? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you're waiting for me. Okay, then I think I'm going with devout. <laughs> oh, I already know which one I'm going here. It, sorry, is it my turn? You, you, you yeah. can go first. You seem uh, very rearing to go. Well, I was going to say I want to put shy. Yeah. That was devout, shy, and <laughs> there's many interesting directions this could go. I, I'd like to put something that is like a little not like that. I think I want it to be. Uh, I think I want it to be witty, actually. Nice. <laughs> 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 okay. Well. Cool, cool. Yeah, you already had had one for your uh, for your Tina. Good, good hearted. Yes, I'm good hearted, but do remember that House Entire is really bloodthirsty by nature. I'm I'm not sure yet whether I'm I'm um, like the rest of my family or just very different. Or I definitely different. I definitely think that uh, Tanya Tami, is uh, uh, accomplished at arms. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 
Do you have one, Jordan? Um, I I kind of want to do well traveled. Mm -hmm. This seems like a nice person. What is this? <laughs> and Matthias? It can be right. Tall. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's really a nice person. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. Oh. Cool. Uh, so this is our uh, uh, characters for for this game. I'm gonna go like through like some general things before we start play. Um, so how does game work is is that we have uh, a number of mini games. I've listed them uh, at, to the right. Um, and uh, uh, at every turn, uh, we have we go to turns, uh, and every time we choose the uh, player choose one mini game. Uh, you can always uh, you go to that mini game in the in the book, and then you can always read out what's written uh, as it is, uh, or you can uh, fill it out from like just do what you want. Um, but uh, you have to try to convey, uh, as it says, the trust of what's written and try to not contradict what it's written. Uh, either way, you can always elaborate freely. Uh, other than that, uh, well, well, we'll start with an Intrigue and Master game uh, and we'll end with the coronation. Uh, the game says that we'll at least do one round of games uh, before, before ending. I think we're going to do more than that, probably. We'll see. We're gonna try to get finished by uh, by nine, so that's two and a half more hours, and at least that one break in between. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, yeah, you can always um, ask for sug suggestions, but uh, as always uh, in these kind of games, uh, just pick what is obvious to you. If it's uh, don't worry about it being tropey or anything. It's uh, uh, we're playing into uh, something that's known. If it's trope, it's fine. And also, this game is very much about tropes. Uh, so don't worry about that. We can totally go over the top. It's it's called like if you'd cross Game of Thrones with Mario Party. Uh, so don't don't worry about. It. We'll 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 play it for a, for a fun game. Uh, it's totally on the table to get killed, but you'll uh, always be able to control that. Um, okay. And uh, like it will point towards it. Yeah. So um, yes. Let's see. Uh, first thing we'll do is to uh, introduce our characters. Um, take a small round. I'm going to play uh, Cedric of House uh, Sandrail. Uh, I think he is he's very like, uh, I imagine him being very like fashionable uh, and uh, like uh, quite thin. Uh, and with, with blonde, long blonde hair, and uh, I kind of imagine him as the father of Draco Malfoy in Harry Potter a little bit, just younger. Oh, oh I love that. Uh, and and uh, always wears like uh, very expensive uh, clothing, very like uh, elaborate with with uh, uh, with golden threads on it. And I, I think the the um, the the shield of of uh, House uh, Sandrail is, uh, uh, I think it's uh, a raven on uh, over like a, a, a like a tree in in silver. It's it's silver and black. Um, um, yeah. Okay. You want to introduce your character, Jordan? Uh, I think Evelyn Lady Lunest um, is a bit older, probably in her late 50s. Um, with a kind of uh, like ramrod straight bearing. Um, that suggests a certain a certain way of holding herself uh, but 
uh, I think in in kind of contrast to this, she has very like kind eyes is kind of the way I want to describe it, or laughing eyes. Um, like even though she holds herself with a kind of regal bearing, um, there there is a certain levity to it. Um, and I think she, uh, she speaks the local language, but, um, she has a bit, a bit of an accent, um, and even though you converse with her very freely, uh, Like there, there's always a way in which uh, it, it's clear that she's foreign, um, and I think that um, it also it's about the way she dresses. Um, and uh, I think. Actually, you know, it's it's not dress. Um, it's hair, and I think she wears her hair differently than people here do. Uh, someone else do, does. Someone else. How do the people of the Seaward Coast usually wear their hair? Um. Well, it depends. Oh. <laughs> I have have an idea. Uh, yeah. I think at least for for like the the nobles, I think it's uh, like custom to for both men and women to have long hair. Uh, yeah, like it that. shows uh, shows wealth wealth to have uh, to have like a long, healthy, shiny piece of hair on your head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in that case, um, Avalon's hair is quite close cropped in uh, the style of basically what would be like a commoner here. Um, cool. I like that. Um, and I think, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I think I'm picturing her as like the, the younger sibling of a reigning monarch. Okay. How are we getting pictures into the into the game? Are you not drawing it with your excellent art skills? <laughs> no, I've got a picture from somewhere else that I, I'd like to. You can send me the link, and I can put it in. At least I think you can just draw, like put it in. I can do it at least. Hmm. Uh, you want to uh, present your character, uh, Matthias? Yeah, so Sigismund. Um, Can you see that? Sigismund okay. has, has that um, very aware, watchful eyes. Um, he is uh, broad shouldered um, as, as the as the oaks traditionally would have it, um, has been serving um, kind of what was the king's guard. Ah. Um, and um, uh, 
So I'm picturing, I also have a picture. Uh, it's a younger Peter O'Toole with beard. <laughs> yeah, cool. And yeah, and and um, they all like traditionally, um, like um, they make a point of being uh, uh, appearing more humble uh, than other um, aristocracy does. Um, that kind of is represented in in the uh, haircut as well. So. This is probably showing him in a more dis disheveled state than <laughs> when presenting at court. Um, yep. Let's see his oh, I found the perfect picture. It's 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 short because um yeah, as cool. part of the King's Guard, you need to be able to to wear a helmet. And also, people can pull on your hair if it's long. Yeah. That's, that's How does the banner that. of House Oak look? Um, interestingly enough, it's... <laughs> you would think it would be the, the top of an oak, right? <laughs> um, but I think it shows the, um, uh, it actually shows the roots. So oh. it's kind of in, inverted or, um, like uh, as a view, you would have drawn a tree without leaves and then inverted it. Um, and I think it's, uh, oh. cream on brown. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. Cool. So, uh, Tina, can you present your character? Yeah. I don't know much about Tanina yet, except she's of house entire, and usually people from that house are expected to be kind of easy to anger and bloodthirsty, and she's not like that at all. At least she doesn't think so. She's she's nice and good-hearted and yeah. Well, she wears her hair long, as you can see, as is the custom. <laughs> and um, I think she's still in her twenties. I think she's about twenty-five. Um. I don't know that much about her yet, actually, <laughs> except um, the banner, maybe, of the house, um, which could be, <clears throat> I think it should be something with blood, <laughs> but well, maybe it's like, yeah, maybe it's like, like a drop of blood, red on Mm. on light green and and there's a there's a top of the oak tree growing from the from the drop of blood which which kind of is the counterpart of the the roots from the from the oak of house oak yeah that's cool oh that also has like very interesting implications Mm -hmm. um, reaching far back in history that probably no one's been paying attention to in the last uh, 100 years or so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, do you also have a, a, a crest in mind, uh, Jordan, for uh, also Nest? Uh, not, not quite as such. Uh, I'm. I, I, I was just. I couldn't figure out how to add images to the thing. Oh, just send me the link. I'll add it. 
maybe okay, request for GM stuff. I don't know. Uh, yeah, sorry you about need to that. GM. No I didn't want to interrupt, though. I'm a GM on the internet. I'm, I'm made for <laughs> interruption. <laughs> cool. I'll just. Uh... There it is. Oh, very cool. So, um, first thing uh, we'll do like now is to, to play a game of Intrigue and Muster. Uh, we decide who uh, sets the scene by, uh, by showing our highest card. Uh, so, you can all put your highest card, I think it should be face down uh, by default, hopefully. I try to do that at least. So, we have to? Or... Yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> You're not gonna. You're not going to uh, to lose it. So we're, we're you're putting it. You just. Up. Yeah. No. Yeah. You, yeah. Do that. Okay. So I'm gonna put it. Besides my thing. Oh. On top of my guy. So. You can see I have excellent cards. There's also a thing that is uh, good to know is that, uh, in the end game. Um, you will use your hand of cards to assert your claim on the throne and judge your house fortunes. And the cards that are best is, uh, as, uh, is also like, you can see them uh, also on the right there. Right? So I, ace is high uh, and then picture cards. Uh, diamonds is uh, uh, worth more than hearts, is more worth more than spades and it's worth more than clubs. Um, and there's also some other cards that have significance uh, in the end game, which is more like flavor what happens. That's uh, trees and I think also uh, jacks. No, jacks and twos is it? So that's something you could, if you wanted to. You don't. I don't. I wouldn't say that it's probably something you would do on your first game, but uh, you can look in the in the end game part and and see if you have them on, ha on hand, and you can try to aim to to get rid of them or not, if you, well, if you want to. So is it number first and then suit? Uh, number first and then suit. Okay, so a. Eight of hearts is still higher than a seven of diamonds. Yes. Yeah. So uh, uh, it seems uh, House Lunest will will do the uh, game of uh, Intrigue and Master. Excellent. And we can all take our cards in again. Right click on the card. And then uh, take card. So yeah, you can see the game of... of uh, uh, Intrigue and Master at uh, page uh, something. It's an animated disagreement introducing your characters. Into the, Intrigue and Master is at page 14. Huh. It's funny that they wouldn't put it as the first game. It is. Yeah, I was wondering. Oh. I think it's alphabetical, but I'm not sure. Shut up. Only I draw a card. Huh. I like that. I... Choose another player's house list, not your own. You represent your house, but you don't command it. Uh, choose an event from the list and read it out. Choose at random or with forethought, but don't deliberate. Whichever option you choose, follow its instructions. So you can see that's how most of these things go. You will see like a list of things under here. And, and don't choose a house that is not in play, which is probably obvious, but... Uh, I'm going to start with House Antire. Do we have House Antire? Yeah. Uh, house Antire uh, invokes blood anathema upon House Lunest, the foreign power. Uh, house Antire pulls a random card from House Lunest's hand and discards it. Okay. Is how the scene is is supposed to go, I think. Yeah, uh, let's see. I'm from House Lunest, right? And discard it. Okay. You're you're entire, right? Yeah. Yes, that's me. Yeah. So you're pulling from Lunest. Which is so what you do then is just did you pick your up your card again, Jordan? 
by the way? I did. There you go. Oh, so okay. you basically, you can see when you click on the uh, on the cards, you can see there you can steal it. Yeah. You, yeah. New card. Okay. <clears throat> but um, that's where does it go? I mean, is it in my hand now? Because I don't remember my cards. <laughs> oh. Uh, you should have uh, four now. It's that you, you pull a random card from House Luna's hand and discard it. So when yeah. like, it just goes away. Yeah. So when you when you take steal, yeah. uh, Jordan will get an uh, a request to let you steal it, and then okay. you just put it out on the table uh, and uh, discard it. Uh, just put it down in a pile uh, over here mm -hmm. uh, under the scene list. I did the steal request. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I've got the card in my hand now, but I can see which one it is. So I'm putting it face up in the center of the table. It doesn't say that, I think. Hmm. Traditionally discarded are face up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then. Sure. Uh -huh. Show it. Uh, this is interesting information. Yeah. Like, yes, yeah. if it's the king, that's uh, yeah. um, a mighty yeah. blow. It is. That's, uh... So uh, what, what happens? Like this is like the start of our drama here. Uh, House Antire. Man, I, I think I just put a big hit on myself in the first scene. <laughs> you did. Yeah. Such a story game Actually, player. Actually, <laughs> is that, is that um, a thing that you can do? Wasn't there something? Yeah. What you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. You just you choose another house, but you can still be affected. Yeah, you yeah you control the other houses doing things, but you can still do it yourself if you want to. So it says don't deliberate, and yeah. I didn't deliberate. It's true. Yeah. Um. So uh, yeah. What what is this? Uh, wh why did the house Antire do this? Uh, is it this some kind of like? Um, I guess we can we can also go into the next scene and then uh, and play it out. But it would be cool to have like a some kind of uh, context before, maybe. I mean, you're a foreign yeah. power, so that's something, at least. Yeah, I think so. Well, who, de who decides? Well, like we can all... Me? Yeah, you can... Yeah. Yeah, if you want. Know, I'm just... Um, well, obviously, foreign power, and I think we, we're supposed to be the ones who should be in power, because we've been in power in ancient times, and Usurpers are just, uh, no, foreign powers are just, no, that's even worse than somebody from our sea. How's the landmass called? Uh, the sea. Oh. Yeah, that's even worse. So, no way. <laughs> I think I suggest, uh, I, I discuss theories that are in vogue that House Antire may not be of such great antiquity as it claims. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, these foreign theories about, um, you know, Antirean antiquity, I'm sure, are not taken well. No. <laughs> yeah, totally. You've been slandering. Uh... House uh, Empire, uh, of course, in the wake of uh, of uh, the death of the king, uh, you've been growing uh, bigger and stronger, and uh, and also as the foreign power, it's probably easier to hit you. Uh, I'm going to also uh, just put the name of our kingdom under here so we can remember it. And uh, uh, yeah. So what's the actual? But but but. Did Anti what actually happened? do? Hmm? What did Anti actually do <laughs> in response? Sure. Because that's the card. Well. Oh. Let's see. I need to go back to the page. Oh. So I mean. It's this is what what happens is that uh, entire invokes. That's just the start of the game. Like it doesn't. We don't really play out what happens yet. Okay. 
I think that's like goes for like the scenes, but this yeah. is just like a story prompt. I think that's also why it says uh, if you're in, in uh, doubt of what to do, it's good to pick in trigger muster. I think that's the kind of doubt where you don't think enough is going on because this is like the action or intrigue uh, uh, provoking uh, game. Yeah, that's... So I was supposed to draw a card when I initiated this game. Yes. You can't oh. do that, maybe. I can at least I can deal it to you. Oh, I think oh, I took back the wrong card. Oops, that, that was the wrong card. But the oh. question still remains what happened, right? We don't have yeah, seen it. Yeah, I was wondering. But um, what does what... invoking blood anathema <laughs> on another house mean? <laughs> I think it's probably the, the head of the house, whoever that may be, just... Hmm. So anathema is a formal curse by a pope yeah. or a council of the church excommunicating a person or denouncing a doctrine. So it sounds something like you're bad-mouthing some kind of cultural... Um, tradition or way they handle themselves or something like that or something like an official official put down this is just i mean Bl blood anathema also sounds like family yeah i think that um, um they're just saying in some kind of official function that that family is bad <laughs> I think it's like a like a, I I, uh, I have this thing with like probably like being a little bit like excommunication, uh, like that you're you're banning you're like saying oh they're uh, for us they're like free everyone can attack them now or whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I think. It, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say it sounds something halfway between like excommunication and declaring like a feud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something like a, like a blood feud on that on that house on that family. Cool. Uh, I, I suggest that we we uh, the next the next player is going to be uh, we going rounds here and we started with uh, Evelyn, right? So next, uh, uh, I think I suggest we go around the table like the the characters are arranged here, so that the uh, uh, the next game will be chosen by. Uh, uh, Tamina, or like uh, Tina. Uh, so mm -hmm. I suggest that we we like play out a little bit of uh, what happens, uh, or, or something like so we can get some more context in in one of our scenes for the next scene yeah. probably. I was expecting more of a scene hook to be part of the game. Yeah, maybe it doesn't really it doesn't really say anything about scenes. <laughs> No, about not. Oh, yeah, it does, but not in this uh, game. I don't think this is a scene. This is just something that happens. Do we all do one intrigue and master? Is that the case, or no? No. Tanima can now ch freely choose. choose. Yes. Well, I haven't read all of them yet, so I'm just going with the first. I think <laughs> from from page six. An which is an game. animated disagreement. And the setup is choose one other player to be your opponent in the argument. Decide together what the matter of your disagreement is, where you are holding your discussion, and who else is present. <laughs> you and your opponent each draw a card, ask each other, how do you look to me? What's your mood? Well, you and your opponent each state your opinion. Everyone else takes the part of your audience, whoever they are. Before you begin, agree to stakes. The winner gets to draw a card. The winner must discard the highest card, neither or both. Yeah, so okay. we can go through this stepwise. Like the first thing is, uh, who is uh, who are you discussing with? I'm wondering if it shouldn't be the the house nest. That we put the blood anathema on, <laughs> or is that too too early to talk already? <laughs> no, no, not too early. <laughs> Let's okay. snowball this. So we do risk both, right? <laughs> yeah, it does sound very much like it, at least. 
what do you think the stakes are? Or let's or the I think what is the matter of the disagreement, right? So I'm jumping ahead, sorry, no. with my with my excitement for ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, the matter of the disagreement is probably <laughs> the blood anathema and maybe possible repercussions. Military repercussions. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, so uh, to, to to start, like uh, all our characters know each other, uh, so uh, it's not like and and we are not our houses. Uh, right. Our houses do uh, do stuff if we want it or not, uh, and we don't control them. So that's a good like good thing to remember. Yeah. Like you don't have to be uh, just because uh, your house declared blood anathema on the other house doesn't mean that you hate that other person. All right, so maybe it's actually the other way around and it's... Hmm. It could be a legal mm. disagreement. Like how About... is it even legal to an, um, announce an anathema like that uh, from, <laughs> from a single house? That could be like a dispute. Yeah, maybe they're just not ready to accept this as, as something that it should exist at all. And they, yeah. Do you have a suggestion, uh, uh, Evelyn? Um, I'm going to go look at my. I. Uh, well, Evelyn thinks that as a foreigner, I see isn't bound by traditional entire uh, custom, anterior custom. Uh, and that I, the, uh, that in fact, legally speaking, there's no basis upon which to prosecute a blood anathema against her or house Lunest. And it is most unreasonable. Um, really simple obstructionism. Yeah. Actually, um, I think um, Anna House, um, no, Tanima is, is actually against this modern interpretation of, of, of things and she feels this blood feud stuff is archaic. Um, and should be followed because that's what her house has always done. It just, it just is. There's no legal discussion about it. It's just how it's always been done. Yeah, so it's like this uh, discussion over if the uh, over the blood feud, obviously, and it's like a traditionalist versus like, but this is unreasonable kind of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool. But there's. Again, <laughs> yeah, Jordan. Uh, I, I'm picturing, uh, like, because because uh, I, I'm picturing like I, I can see this, um, like I'm trying to explain very patiently to Evelyn in my mind, not Evelyn to to Tanima mm -hmm. in my mind why. This is entirely reasonable, and she's just being obstructionist right now. And I think she's smarter than this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But she she's still very much traditionalist, and and although she's smart, she she just this is just something she needs to to hold on to to, to I, tradition. Are you and... already having the disagreement before we had <laughs> that up this thing properly? <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, so, what is at stake here? Is it the uh, uh, winner gets uh, to draw a card, or the loser will discard their highest card, or both, or neither? Um, it's pretty much like, is it a lot at stake? Is it something to gain or something to lose, or none of it? I'm just taking a look at my cards to see how bad that would be. <laughs> huh. <clears throat> I think um, I think the winner should get to draw a card. 
What do you think? All right, that sounds like a fair stake to me. I don't want to lose cards. <laughs> <laughs> Such a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so cool. I, I think we're pretty good. We have our stakes and our positions. Uh, so where is this discussion at? Is it uh, is it in public? Is it uh, in uh, in private? Uh, is in your one of your castles or? I don't think it's in public because we we're not really the houses are probably not really speaking right now. Probably. It could also could also be like if it's right after. Uh, right after, like the the blood feud has, the blood and anathema has been uh, like announced, like at the council, like a meeting where where everyone was been, oh, yeah, something like that. Maybe. So it's like pretty, like uh, still pretty hot. Yeah, maybe maybe it's outside as as people are leaving in 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 one of one of us just turns to the other and says, "Wait." But this is not right. <laughs> yeah, and I think everyone should be should be there when it, it's a council, all right. So. Um, so you're making every, you're making a scene. <laughs> um, I guess so, and everybody's just just um, just getting on the horses and and stuff and listening in. How does it work? Um, so uh, me and Matthias will uh, will uh, get give you challenges that mm -hmm. you have both have to to answer, uh, and based on what you say, uh, your answers, uh, we will give you points. Uh, you'll do three challenges, I think it was. Uh, uh, yes. After yeah, after three, three challenges, yeah. Uh, you're not allowed to uh, uh, rebut the other positions, the other person's uh, argument. You get minus one uh, point from that. And also, if you go on too long, uh, we can uh, the other the audience can either cut you off with boos and cheers and give you a minus one point as well, or just say politely to wrap it up. Uh, after three challenges, you compare points, and whoever has the more uh, has the more has the acclaim of the audience whoever they are. So uh, and then you uh, do the winner gets the uh, or loser gets the stake as, as you already uh, agreed upon. Okay. So so let's just set, set the scene now. Where are we now? Are we in the council or are we outside? Are uh, there other people around? Well, my my idea was outside and everybody's just wrapping stuff up and getting ready to leave cool so uh who who approaches who i think it's it's the lady evelyn that probably approaches the lady tanama yeah. yeah i think so too oh i just don't exactly think that the... challenge. yeah sorry well, I just don't think this is an argument that the Lady Tanima would start. No, I don't think so either. Um, sorry. Uh, you want to ch uh, choose a challenge first, Matthias? Yeah. Um. I think. My challenge is, um, so how much are we supposed to rely on the the ways of old that set us, um, that are set in our bones? Are you choosing from the list of challenges below, by the way? Oh, no. Oh, there's a list? Sorry. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> Did that sound very appropriate? I was like, hmm. <laughs> um yeah maybe the, let me quickly find the one that yes please explain how your position best serves the will of the gods <laughs> okay you can start evelyn since you're the instigator of this discussion well, 
Lady Tanima. <sighs> this. It displeases me to speak in such a frank and uncouth manner. But the godless ways of your house are leading on a dangerous road to perdition. These ancient blood oaths are most prescribed by all of the great uh, doctors of religion. <laughs> this is my turn. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I do not believe in doctors of religion. The ancient gods are on our side and they have always supported our house. The ancient gods are is, dead. It is written <laughs> in the most ancient texts. There is no discussion and no interpretation by religious scholars necessary. So who, who do you give this point to, Matthias? I mean, both could have made a point, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you, you give the point to one of them. Oh, OK. Well, I, I can still use the same metric to come to a conclusion, because um, one player interrupted the other. It's true. Um, the point goes to Tanema. OK. Also yeah, my arguments not really convincing. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, anything, <laughs> any argument is convincing if you just say what what because you're we're making this stuff up as we go, right? So now there are old texts and um, new texts apparently. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't <laughs> want to give mine to Evelyn, but you interrupted uh, Talima, so you don't get it. It's entirely fair. <laughs> <laughs> this is about the audience. Yeah. Then. Yeah. I'm not exactly making you... myself look good right now. It's true. Uh, I think uh, the next challenge is please make a personal attack on your opponent's character. Does this one go to Tanima first? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> OK. Let's see about her character. Huh. Oh, okay. Huh, that's hard. I think she's probably too cheerful. I just like that. <clears throat> Lady Evelyn, I believe your, your lighthearted composure is inappropriate to these difficult discussions. And I don't believe you, you should you should decide these things. You should defer to your elders. <laughs> and, and you may have to read the old texts again. I don't think you have recently. You have a curious definition of elders, girl, she says <laughs> in an entirely unkind way. <laughs> And that is my personal attack. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm giving this point to Tanama as well. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm not winning right now, am I? <laughs> this is not looking good for Evelyn. It was also too much of a rebuke. And you're not supposed to, right? Oh, but how, how are we supposed to discuss then? You know, this is that the whole point. It's like it's not really a discussion. It's just one person <laughs> saying one ah. thing, another person not listening oh. and saying another thing. It's so an animated it's... disagreement. Yes. Like the quiet year, <laughs> mm -hmm. where everybody just says stuff and nobody talks about what the other person said. Mm, that's great. Yeah. And your point, Matthias? Now I, yeah. I understand my opponent is. Uh... Goes to Tanima. 
Um, but we only decide, like, we each give one point, or yeah. how does this work where the entire audience gives one point? No, no, we each give one point. Yeah, oh, it goes to Tanya. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, for the last challenge, uh, Matthias? Yeah. Please express your position in the form of a slogan, easily remembered and repeated. Whoever wants to go first um, can go first. I need to think about this. Perhaps you would do well uh, to remember the rhyme of catechism. Gods of old, the soul is sold. Gods of new, soul renewed. <laughs> um, well, my slogan is... Hmm. Has Tanama lost her voice? <laughs> I wonder. You should know, Evelyn, Evelyn, that old blood knows best. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah. Yeah, my, I know where my point goes. So. Yeah, me too. I, I'm giving my point to Evelyn for this. Yeah. For it almost rhyming, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but still, it's a it's a victory for uh, for Tanima, so you can uh, draw a card. Hey, renew is a perfectly legitimate slant rhyme with new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have me. I get to draw a card from which is the draw pile. Um, it's uh, the one oh, down I, in the... down below. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And now it's uh, uh, I guess it's, it's um, nice, right? yeah, yeah. I think, um, and I haven't looked at this yet, but I think um, we had like the big coming together um, um, uh, after the king is dead, and right, um, and now it's like the first time where they're like. The formalities kind of die down after this argument, especially, right? Um, people are a little bit more on edge. Um, but I think there's a, an actual reunion happen, happening. That's on page 22. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, yeah, so this is between, between Sigismund and Cedric, mm -hmm. um, who. We're meeting each other now after having not seen one another for some time. Say together where you're meeting, choose one by agreement. Oh, that's so detailed in comparison. Mm -hmm. So I think I would suggest we're basically meeting in an estate of another family, meeting both as guests. Because we're actually um, in the in uh, the previous king was of house. What's it with D Dillion? Dillistone. Dillistone, and that's where I kind of see this has uh, like the formalities have been happening. So now, after like people can actually mix and and stuff, um, we have this. Does it sound good to you? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so just uh, a reunion leads into possibly another scene. So that's a cool way to like, maybe maybe it's like a, 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 a like festival of sorts or like a gathering of the houses. It's the is is it the wake? Like there needs to be a big um, yeah. meeting after the king has died. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Cool. Yeah, that sounds good. So how do you look to me? Um, I look, 
I think I look tired. Uh, tired and uh, it, it, I, it looks like uh, I think I think you know me from from uh, uh, from like since we were kids and I think you see like this this is this the the look that I had before we were we were playing like we were in tournaments uh, jousting tournaments and stuff like I would uh, prepare relentlessly and, and be very like tired and you recognize that look. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you look to me? Um, tense. Um, like being part of the royal guard. Um, with all this happening, has meant um, and all all these families coming together, all these houses, um, uh, means uh, constant um diligence and uh, being aware. So, um, basically also in full uh full regalia right um for for um um the the king's guard in this case um so yeah that's how i look to you um and this, any of you can ask for details um to, while this is happening about location circumstances so where are you actually? You're in the house of House Stillstone, and and they probably have their own chapel, or whatever, where the burial is taking place. So I think I think we've been yeah we've been like eating like uh, that's like already in 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 in, in full motion, and um, uh, and I imagine like the like little groups have started mixing between the houses, um, so we might be like. Um, each of us with like a maybe a, like a goblet of wine in hand behind a behind one of the uh, pillars in the great hall or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. I imagine it being like we just came into the great hall from like the wake or like from the ceremony, mm -hmm. uh, and we got just like handed the first like goblet of wine. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and I see I, I see you. I think you maybe you see me actually, and you come over while I'm like yeah. looking at my my cup. Um, it's especially good because I go first and have to ask you an opening question. Yeah. The opening question. Oh, that's yeah, it's also on the page under. Ah, okay. Which page is this on? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Um, okay. Never mind. When did I was going to ask for another detail, but it's already covered in the questions. Oh, okay. When did we last see each other? Uh, I think we last saw each other. Uh, I I think actually that uh, I uh, uh, I visited you uh, while uh, the king was uh, in his like summer uh, castle, and there's like a lot of like big uh, uh, fields around to to ride horses and, and stuff. Uh, and we took some horses out to uh, that has just been like trained for the king, like one of some of the best. And of course, you have access to had access to them because you were you were like high up in the in the royal guard. Uh, so we were like riding together uh, through the fields in in the summer. Mm. Nice. With, uh, oh. Um, then choose one of the, yeah, choose one of the reunion questions to ask you. Oh, I get to choose what you ask me. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, no, I choose actually. They answer freely, then choose one of the re reunion questions yeah, to ask you. I was confused. This would have yeah. been getting very confusing after anyway. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm asking. I'm asking you. Uh, we were so close then, and I'm happy and eager to see you now. Do you greet me warmly and or coolly? Um. 
I greet you rather coolly, um, like raising my goblet and like and giving you a nod, um, uh, saying, uh, "Lord Cedric," um, but not making long eye contact, uh, kind of, kind of uh, looking, uh, looking away, um, and then just asking something like, um, "I hope travel here." Was uh, the travel wasn't uh, too hard? And yeah. yeah, yeah. I think you see, like Cedric, when when you like come over, like he starts, like he smiles and like uh, almost starts to say something when you like uh, uh, start to greet him, and he says like, "Yes, uh, my travels was uh, without." Any unforeseen circum, uh, unforeseen events. Uh, however, uh, however troubling the times must be, at least that is going in our direction. Uh, you can ask. Uh... I answer freely. Based on my answer, you make a counter. Uh, you choose. To make one of the closing offers. Cool. I want to. I want to. Let's continue uh, to uh, huh, a conversation over food. That seems appropriate for being in it at the wake. So a conversation over food. Okay. And I distantly nod and I agree to that. Let's let's yeah let's talk about this over uh, some of this delicious food that they have prepared. Yes, I expect there's much to discuss. So, do we all participate in a conversation over food? It was a little unclear to me. Uh, I haven't even read it yet. <laughs> so, what? <laughs> what page is it on? It's on page ten. Uh, ten. So we'll do no, a no, never mind. We'll do a conversation over food together. You can you can be present uh, if if we decide to. I think. Uh, yeah. So who else are invited? And Those who players. else is invited? Those players can accept or decline. Never mind. Yeah. I would like to see everyone at one table though. Like maybe it's the. If, I mean, it's your scene still. I think, uh, uh, Matthias. But, uh, it continues to be my scene or something. Yeah, I read something similar. Yeah. Um, Oh, so yeah. so these are still the same conversation partners from the yeah. Right. Yeah, we're still. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, ending the reunion. If you and your counterpart agree to continue with another game, play it now. The reunion ends, but your turn continues with a new game. Okay. Whichever you choose, you and your counterpart each draw a card, and the reunion ends. Okay, so we draw a card each. Oh, wait, that's um. No, that's not what we do because that's, that's only if we don't if, agree to. If we don't agree to continue, yeah, okay. Which, yeah, the text could be a little clearer there. Um, yeah, no, uh, I agreed. So we're going to um, page ten. It's still my turn, so you'll you'll be going after me. Um, yeah, I mean. I choose you. That was kind of clear, um, but I like everybody's invited to be here. This is the big banquet, I imagine, um, where everybody has to be seen, probably, right? Um, at least formality-wise. Unless, or does someone want to decline? Would it be a bad move? To yes, go because. There? Uh, who knows? So what this <laughs> what this does, I think, is that you uh, you all have to choose our highest card and show it, oh. and then afterwards you mix all the cards and you draw uh, uh, one of them randomly. So based on that, you can say if it's uh, good or bad for you to win, depending on what cards you have. I guess. Oh, I'm like playing this strategically very well right now. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't. I'm not thinking about that, but no. I'm just... 
<laughs> okay, you already know my previously highest card, which is probably the highest card in the game right now because the other highest card is gone. <laughs> I shouldn't really, I shouldn't really participate actually if I play strategically. Okay. Cool. But. Okay. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not participating. <laughs> okay, so Tanima is um, uh, obviously absent. Uh, it will be noted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Uh, but Evelyn is there, right? Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, so Evelyn, I think, is in the middle of... I don't know if she's participating in this conversation specifically at the moment. But I'm picturing uh, when the two of you enter, um, she's telling a diverting story uh, about the younger king. Uh, God, what was the king's name? Um, let's see. I can easily see that here. It was uh, Award the third. Ah, uh, yes, the, the younger King Award. Um, was quite a rake and a troublemaker back in the day. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> everyone present draws a card. Yeah. And then uh, ask each other, how do you look to me? What's your mood? So, yeah, how do you look to me? What's your mood, uh, um, Sigismund? Um, I still look a little uh, uh, pensive, but um, uh, my mood is definitely OK. Well, if we're eating, then uh, at least we have something to do, and uh, maybe becomes a little clearer to you that I might have just been tense and I'm generally not the most social person. Uh, take You remember me taking some time to warm up. How do you look to me? What's your mood? I think the second you see, like the the second that uh, that uh, Cedric comes into the the great hall with all the people around, he's completely uh, he starts like uh, uh, waving at people and like going, uh, saying like everyone, he's saying hi to like everyone on the way over to the, like the high table where we're dining. Um, I think also like uh, uh, going past, uh, like with a smile on his face, and everyone like. Uh, 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 like going to him almost as a as a magnet, uh, and you see like I think in this light like uh, with the with the uh, torches on the wall you see like how uh, very beautiful uh, he looks with his like very like uh, with this uh, with, like a pale face and and you see like the the light flickering in it uh, with his, his, his smile and his like real engagement with his people that probably you would be very annoyed by being more like reclusive. Um, how what how do you look to me? Uh, I think also uh, Evelyn. What's your mood? How do I look to you? Um, that's an interesting question. Um. And I want to say how Lady Evelyn looks to you is old. Um, like she's tired of this shit. In the, it, it, yes. Um, uh, 
like she's she's reached the 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 stage in life where she doesn't have to care about decorum quite so much. I you know she's not she doesn't think at least she has anything to prove anymore. Um But, and, and I think she's, she's not a kind of person to dwell on, on grief either. And, and she's doing, doing her best to, um, stay lively, um, in, in, enjoy the mood, and I think she is. But there's also a moment when you look at her, and I'm not even sure you can tell why, but you just think she's dying. Okay. Uh, actually, there's a glow in the conversation, and people have looked away, and you see her cough into her napkin. Uh, and uh, when she puts it down, uh, hurriedly, you, you realize there's some blood. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So, so take yeah. the highest card from your hand and show it. So the one with the lowest cards uh, begins. Also notice who's yeah, notice whose cards is lowest and then we pull these together. Oh, thank you. Yeah, helping uh, sister out. <laughs> Shuffling. And uh, anyone uh, during the meal can ask for details. Uh, you too, Tina. So, um, yeah. it's fine. So, yeah. that done, proceed to take turns with the other players present. The player who showed the lowest cut was first. On your turn, choose one or more of your conversational partners and choose an action. Ask a topical question, engage in verbatim impromptu conversation, pass saying instead something about the food. Um, hmm. Well. I'm going to ask a topical, topical question. Um, either of you can answer it. Um, so, um, yeah, there is a there's a there's a um um uh so in in uh on the other side of the table like not directly but like slightly like that um there's a um um a young woman um who's basically kind of recently come of age um whatever is considered um coming of age in in in, in this uh uh, uh, in this time, and um, like she's batting her eyelashes at um, at Sigismund, and um, and uh, then uh, kind of leans forward, um, exposing her bosom and. And 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 um, asks so like uh, clearly. Um, um, uh, I think it asks something like, um, um, "Oh, it must be very hard to, to, especially for one of the guards of the king, to bear witness here today, isn't it?" What is your plight like? And um, <laughs> Sigismund um, 
like has something in his mouth, starts to answer, notices he has something in his mouth, um, and then mumbles and um, uh, and yeah, I make an ignorant social or diplomatic blunder. Do you let me recover gracefully, or do you hold it against me? <laughs> Uh, I think um, I think Cedric is uh, like uh, looks uh, like looks at you and looks at the lady and then like uh, uh, dear uh, dear lady uh, uh, Alessandro, you can't uh, disturb a guard in his uh, eating. He's been very busy and hasn't eaten for days. You know he's a diligent man. I think, and, and I think the lady is like, oh, uh, and and then like looks at you like with this uh, uh, like going behind look and, and oh, and and I and I think also like uh, Cedric says, oh yeah, and I think I heard rumors that maybe uh, uh, people, there can be if some convincing is to be done, there can be a dance afterwards. I'm sure he can tell you all about how sad he is then. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Is this a noble woman or just some? I, I mean, she's at the table, so she must be. Yes, like I th yeah, yeah, partner. like um, um, that's the that's I think the diplomatic thing about this. Why this could mm -hmm. be like an incident of um, um, uh, she might yeah. only be like trying out um, her like first time for her to be in this position. Um, at, at such a gathering, so she might just be trying herself out. But um, she's definitely um, would be probably decent marriage material, speaking in terms of mm. politics. Yeah, okay. I think the Lady Evelyn. Uh, what, what, what's this lady's name? Uh, Alessandra. Oh, well, you know the lady, Lady Alexandra. There's, uh, there's three things every guardsman, every good guardsman has: a strong arm, a, a bottomless, empty stomach, and oh, well, we won't talk about the third one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> Sigismund is like and bright she gets red. A very, very uh, obvious wink. Yeah, and Sigismund is like bright red, but. Definitely, like, doesn't need to do or say anything. So you definitely uh, have uphold. Um, like, let me recover, recover as gracefully as I can in this situation. Yeah. I feel. Yeah, I think la the lady and the like giggles into her like neckerchief, like <laughs> neckerchief. Um, cool. So, um... so. If your conversation substantially includes the house of one of the players who isn't present, signal the player they can choose to that didn't happen here. Yeah. I mean, it could be a lady from House Antire. That will yeah. uh, connect to what I'm. Well, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna save that to my turn because I'm still gonna bring in House Antire. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, this is fine. I don't know um, how the next player goes now. Take turns, I guess. If I yeah. start, then you're next in this. Yeah. yeah. I think, um, well, I know what my question is. Uh, I hope you don't bring up that the Lady Tamana is not here. Yeah, I think like, uh, I think like, uh, 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 Cedric is, uh, is like joking with this, uh, with this lady. Uh, and, uh, uh, I think he, 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 uh, she starts like talking about, uh, uh, I think he starts, she starts talking about like, uh, her, her family stuff, uh, and she's obviously from from House uh, Antire, uh, and uh, and I think you see, oh yeah, yeah, you know, I remember, uh, and it like starts bringing up all the other family members uh, that uh, uh, are around the table, and and it becomes like a little obvious for everyone there. I think that uh, uh, Cedric is like actively avoiding uh, bringing up Tamina since she's not there, and he it, it, it doesn't want to talk about the blood feud while uh, while Evelyn is at the table. The I stories trail off in mid sentence. I'm I'm um I don't say anything, but I I'm watching 
Lady Evelyn closely as this is going down. Um, I don't think the Lady Evelyn breaks composure, but um, how should I put it? I want to say she like th this. She crinkles around the eyes a little bit. Um, like she can tell what's going on, and this is just a little bit tiresome. Uh, like I, she, you don't actually see her sigh, that hour long sigh, uh, but it is to the effect. Uh, of a long sigh. Yeah. So you both let me get away with it. Well, House House entire soul follows many of the um very old, some might call them orthodox ways. But I don't bring it up. <laughs> yeah. And I think like the, the conversation ends like when when uh cedric kind of like uh well at least like that segment of it ends when when cedric like uh sees like finally sees like a servant of his house and it's like oh and like uh, can you get my loot uh, i i have uh, i owe someone uh, uh to uh, a dance tonight and, and like the lady like st stops talking about it and starts stop talking about dancing instead oh nice mm. um lady Evelyn, right Um, I think the night has gone on a little, and the Lady Evelyn has gotten a bit drunk. Um, and uh, I'm feeling expansive. What do you want to know about me? This is open for both of us, because you get yes. to choose. Uh, I think you both get to, to answer this question. Hmm. I I think I want to know like if you actually uh, if you actually believe uh, the, the things that uh, uh, House Antar is uh, is accused of. Uh, like if if it's actually a conviction or if it just or if it's just a slander, I don't think it is like a is like a. I think it's like a, it is no not so many people at the table now, uh, and like Cedric like leans over and I think uh, probably uh, Sigismund is like on on the other side like uh, still still eating probably, uh, <laughs> uh, and and uh, Cedric says so. Do you really think that uh, uh, of the that, that the ways of uh, House Antar is as uh, uh, you know uh, barbarical? Was that the word that was used? I mean, I'm just curious uh, as a craftsman uh, to a craftswoman, I guess. Is is Lady Alessandra still? present <laughs> i think she's powdering her nose for the, oh. the dance to come okay i think it's just us at the table or, in, or at least in this conversation there's other yeah i mean there's like long tables so i think it's just like yeah i look expectantly at 
uh, Lady Evelyn. Do I actually... You don't have to say anything. Believe what? <laughs> that, okay. that it's true what the doctors say, that their worship of the old powers will one day bring doom on us all? <laughs> it is really strange, though, how much stock you put in these doctors, as you call them. Perhaps that case is overstated, we might just say. Hmm. Uh, but do I actually believe what? That the way they spill the blood of men in sacrifice is not a stain. Uh, and a foul, heinous, and unforgivable crime? Ask yourself that. Yeah, and I think you see, like, Cedric, like, taking a, a, a small cup of, uh, of wine, like, uh, turning, like, the wine around in his glass uh, with, like, a thinking look for a second. Hmm. That doesn't look so good for me. Oh. You know how a blood oath is declared, she says, in the way someone very drunk, <laughs> someone a bit drunk kind of lectures. The question is, though, do you put your faith in those old oaths? Um, or do you put your faith and those doctors, and you know what you'd say about them. Put yourself in the hands of a doctor, you'll die in those hands. And uh, that is I give because a... this is a nation of quacks. Uh, she says, and uh, she says with a laugh. Um, and I think that that feels like the end of that question. I don't know, did you have something else to say? Oh, I, 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 um, I grab one of those um, fat, juicy sausages and, and I go, it is definitely the land of the um, <laughs> oh, um, it's definitely the land of the uh, finely ripe and take a, like a huge um, bite out of the sausage like fat um, um, squirting across the table um, <laughs> yeah. this is me passing and saying and said something about the food yeah <laughs> I think uh, um, uh, Cedric like gets up uh, and uh, and uh, like walks like, walks uh, around the chair and like leaning over it says uh, don't you think it's uh, time to stop eating and uh, start dancing, Sigismund? Dance! Yeah, and I think I like... Know, there's nothing like handsome young braves on the dance floor. Show me your dancing! <laughs> He's and I really think drunk now. you see like Alessandro, like, uh, I think uh, Cedric is like, oh, Alessandro, uh, Sigismund need convincing uh, to stop eating sausages and start dancing with you instead. Come on. Dance with him, girl. <laughs> and I think like that's uh, two, the two of us deciding that the scene is uh, uh, over. And I think we're going to grab like uh, a break now for, uh, for pee and bio break and drinks. Should we do the f uh, yeah. last bit yeah. of the... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Take a card. So... Take the pool of cards, shuffle it, and deal it out. I, I have already shuffled it. Okay. Yeah. And you just take a take one. Oh, I wasn't looking at it. And um, I took my card. Yeah, the old cards are gone. And there's 
Everybody who contributed a card gets a random card back. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, no. That's what we did, I think. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, uh, let's uh, have a, a break until uh, uh, in eight eight more minutes for. Uh, yeah. At in which is in your uh, yeah, in Japan, yeah. but uh, the on the hour. hour. It'll be three in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> You brave man. Uh, and uh, I'll see you back then. Yeah. Yeah. See you folks.
I mean, it makes courtly drama, that's for sure. I see how it... <laughs> yeah. It's a fun, like, procedure. It's a little complicated, but... Uh... Yeah, it, it both wants you to, I, I feel that it both wants you to play it uh, fast and loose, but also keep to the intro and outro structure. Mm -hmm. Did Jordan disappear? Yeah, he left uh, when we called, go, went for a break. And um, maybe he accidentally hung up. There is. Oh, there. Good. I was a little worried you actually <laughs> thought we were done or something. I was like, what? No, no break. It was a break. <laughs> Please come no, back. No, no. I'm fine. I didn't, I didn't mean to worry anyone. <laughs> Good. So let me guess, you're picking meeting sword to sword now? <laughs> no, this is uh, a dance. Okay. So, did, yeah. did, I, did I miss something? No. We were no. just uh, saying how this uh, game makes... Uh, uh, makes the thing it says it does. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm gonna choose the, the dance game. Uh, I think uh, I want to I want to choose uh, Tanema to be my dance partner. Um, decide together how you two came to be dancing with one another. I have a suggestion at least. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, how did you arrive, by the way, first? Because you weren't there for the meal. This is this is the same occasion. I wasn't it doesn't at have the to meal. be. I, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I wasn't at the meal because, well, I guess it was intentional because I didn't want to meet the lady Evelyn, I think. But um, maybe. I, I was I was actually present but but in my room or something like that and, and maybe a lady Alessandra convinced me that it's very <laughs> weird not to go down there, at least for the dance. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I see like Alessandra like coming uh like uh, with the scene we just left with, and you're like uh walking behind and I think uh you, uh, either of, of you can also be present if you want. Uh, that's you, you choose if you're present or not. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm dancing. Yeah. <laughs> can I ask the Lord right? Sigmund to dance? I don't think if we're present, that's not quite how it works, and it's more like group dance. Oh, okay, that makes sense. No, no, it, no, it's yeah. it's not. Uh, there, it's a thing uh, in the uh, question that we, we can switch partners, yeah. but you're dancing with one person. Okay. So I'm, I'm dancing with Tamina, and you can be dancing, and then we can, depending on the questions, if you look at them, it says something like... Uh, you can just choose who to ask. The, the dance separates us, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but I'm, I, I like I I think I I uh, actually expect you to to be coming after Alessandra. And you, you see, like uh, uh, does Sigmund uh, Sigmund and uh, Evelyn? Uh, uh, do you actually catch to to dance with him before he before uh, Alessandra uh, comes to him? Uh, I think I think so. Maybe. I. Uh, if I, if I have control over this question, then yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, and I th I think like uh, uh, Cedric, like uh, uh, like 
tries to like see around uh, Alessandra coming and then uh, he sees Tamana and like right away he like holds up his hand uh, asking for for a dance. Like, yeah. oh Lady Tamana, I didn't think you would, I was hoping you would show up. I was very disappointed not to see you at the meal. I was, I was unwell. <laughs> Oh. But I, I'm doing better now. <laughs> um, and we're asking each other how, how we look to each other, or is that for later? Yeah. How do you look to me? What is your mood? I think I'm um, I think I'm a, a bit annoyed. I, I look a bit annoyed. I, I don't want to be here um, because I know we're in the wrong. We shouldn't have put this blood and effort <laughs> on this other house and and I know this I I feel it's not right but I have to stand for my house so so I I just chose to disappear and not not have to say anything but but now I have to maybe and and that's that's really annoying to me yeah um I think uh, I think Cedric looks. Um, I think he has this like look. Uh, he looks firstly he is in his like full uh, uh, regalia. Uh, his uh, very like light blonde hair is is finely combed and uh, and uh, uh, put in like a. Uh, I think it actually is is freely like it, it uh, uh, falls down uh, all the way to almost his uh, his chest. Um, oh, <laughs> and uh, I and he he uh, he uh, looks to be like he's very comfortable, uh, but then when he sees you, and I think you see him first, he like uh, he gets this look like a. Uh, I think he like has this assessing look. Uh, I think you catch him 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 like like looking at you like that and like for a second, and then before he like ask you to dance. Well, she she's briefly annoyed at this at this look. She she, she hates when men look her like her like that. But then she she softens a bit because because your blonde hair is so nice, nicely combed. Uh, so uh, what we do now is to take our highest card uh, from our hand and show it. Uh, I think that's for all, uh, yeah, everyone present. Mm -hmm. And uh, do the same. It's a pr pretty much the same thing as last time. Yeah. So uh, the lowest card is uh, Sigismund. Uh, so Sigismund goes first. And then we flip the cards again, and uh, I'll uh, shuffle them down here. Okay. Um, so what you do, you take turn asking questions. Uh, each of us gets to ask the other two questions, and that goes for like uh, you can ask anyone. Um, uh, taking turns, uh, and then the end, dance ends after the, everyone asking two questions. Yeah. So we, um, the dance begins, and uh, we go uh, back and forward, and um, to a like it's just a moderate pace at this moment. Um, starting off slowly, quite formally, um, but there's this part in the dance. Um, when Lady Evelyn, your mouth is close to my ear. What do you say? Hmm. I think I whisper that
House Oak, it's House Oak, yeah. Uh, has always have always been strong and loyal servants of the crown. Uh, upholders of of right and justice. Um. Is this not truly laudable and chivalrous? I think I think then the dance uh, draws us apart again. Yeah, and I can go next with my, my question. Okay. And I think uh, um, I love these questions. They're so good. <laughs> They're such a flirty minigame. I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to ask. My face is uh, close to yours. Do you turn subtly toward me or subtly away? <laughs> um, see. Do you smell that blonde hair? That's the question here. <laughs> yeah, I do. And yeah, I think how how it looks is that like uh, uh, Cedric, uh, like uh, I think dance is like uh, I, I imagine it being like a waltz kind of dance, and like turns you around and then brings you back. Uh, when you bring when he brings you back, you're like. Almost uh, at this, like at his face, just like a little to the side, um, and uh, you, I think it. You know, Cedric is as a good dancer, so um, you're pretty sure that that was on purpose. Well, of course, I turn towards you. I I do want to smell that uh, fine hair, <laughs> and. Maybe, um, yeah, no, you you must be the lead, I guess. I can't lead right now. It's it's like a waltz. And I smile. Yeah, I think uh, you see like a, uh, I don't think you even see that. I, I, I don't even see that because we're like uh, cheek to cheek, pretty much, almost. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, then it's uh, Evelyn. You can pick any player now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask the Lady Tanima, at this moment in the dance, you laugh. At what? Um, I think I've spotted my, my cousin, I think is Alessandra. I'm dancing with one of the, one of the older men from another house and she, she's presenting her cleavage to him and I, I'm laughing about her frivolousness. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that is Tanama's question. Yes. So, have we ch changed partners? Or... I can, can ask anyone. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, you've got narrative control. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Okay, then I'm asking um, Sigismund. Something about me catches your eye and your look lingers. What is it? I think it's... 
Um, I mean, it's very clearly um, uh, it's very clearly your long legs um, oh, that have you so tall. Uh, yeah, that have you move so tall and and um, and I think what what comes through is that you're accomplished at arms which is a dance all to itself mm -hmm. and um, is, a, is a precision in your steps and um, hence my, like, it's the long legs that draw my gaze, but then the precision in your steps that you take is uh, what makes my gaze linger. Hmm. Always the soldier. Speaking of which, it, uh, it's a Sigismund question again. Yeah. Um, so, so as as the da as the music moves to different um, to different tunes and and as a break and as a change in the mood of the music as well, um, and as a passing. Um, Cedric, you have the opportunity to draw me close and hold me for a moment. Just like you were expecting as our reunion, do you take it? Uh, I do. Um, I, I think, uh, you see, uh, like a, a more stern look in Cedric, actually. Uh, as he like takes you uh, uh, in his hands uh, and like swings you uh, swings you around. Um... <laughs> nice. And I think like you, you see you see his look has grown like where his look was like warm when uh, when uh, you, you when uh, we met. Uh, I think now it's it's like. It's uh, it's like a, it's it's not an unfriendly face, but it's very hard to tell what he's thinking. Yeah, interestingly enough, I think uh, you can recognize the old um, familiarity or comfortableness with you that we shared that one summer. Yeah, in this moment though. Yeah, and I think like uh, as uh, after like uh, uh, a few seconds dancing, I think like a, a good like half a minute dancing, I think like I I swing you off to to Alessandra, uh, who's been waiting for for quite a while. Cool. And now it's my second question. Hmm. I think uh... you might be asking the second to last one. Yeah, I might. Mm. Yeah, that would be something someone would. Uh... Yeah, sure, cool. I'm gonna. Yeah, I think I'm gonna uh, ask uh, another question to to Tanima. I'm focusing all my questions on the Tanima. Okay. Um, I think. Uh, I'm gonna ask the second to last question. I think uh, the, the, it's the dance uh, uh, figures bring you to dance with someone else. Uh, whom? Uh, when a dance brings you back to me again, are you pleased or disappointed? Uh, I <laughs> the dance figure brings you brings me to dance with Lady Evelyn, of course, which is quite uncomfortable. And um, I look at her coolly and very stiffly. Yeah, Lady Evelyn has a gracious smile. <laughs> and, and and she turns away blushing. Which I think makes it harder for the Lady Tanima to, to stand it. Yes, it's very uncomfortable. 
And as I'm returning back to Cedric, I'm I'm very pleased, of course. <laughs> I'm out of this situation, but also closer to his fine blonde hair. Yeah, and I think like uh, I think Cedric like uh, whispers to you when you when you come back. Uh, I I think you would be more comfortable with uh, uh, meeting uh, uh, the Lady Evelyn in a battle of uh, in a dance of swords than a, a dance on the this floor. Am I right? <laughs> And like, uh, <laughs> smiles at you a little. I'm, well, I would certainly be able to beat her, but I do not wish to harm her. <laughs> and I think, I think like, uh, uh, Cedric laughs a little at your, your answer, uh, uh answering literally. <laughs> cool. Then it's uh, Evelyn again. Uh, I think this question is probably for Cedric. Uh, my hair has fallen in front of my ear. Uh, do you touch my face? I think the dance brings us together at a certain point. Uh, who, who makes a misstep that causes me to trip a little? Oh, yeah, so you're changing, uh, changing the question. Uh, yeah, I think that that's just something. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, cool. Um, you know, uh, I think Cedric uh, does uh, take uh, the hair out of... Uh, it, he does touch your face, just like a little... Um, and I think he... He, uh, he has this... Uh, he looks at you pretty... I don't know. I'm not sure if you, it's like a face. You, you it could be uh, a compassion or it could be a pity, depending on on uh, how you uh, interpret it. Is it like when somebody has spinach between their teeth? <laughs> it's the right thing to tell them, and and you just helped her. I think um, when you reach out to touch the Lady Evelyn's face, she almost instinctually kind of like slaps your hand away. Um, but halfway through kind of doing it, realizes what she's about to do and kind of restrains herself. Uh, and when you do it, it there, she, there's a kind of like a grimace. Uh, and I think that's, uh, that's when you remember that, um, God, where am I from? Mm. Foreigners have strange customs about faces. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Cedric, uh, uh, like, I think he, he he gracefully like avoids like the semi slap, -slap you're doing, uh, and and I think he, he he still like takes the 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 hair away, and I think he says. Uh, we don't uh, we don't have to be uh, enemies and I, then I think uh, the uh, the we'd probably change uh, partners and before I have a chance to respond yeah that's good I like that mm -hmm. last question Tamina oh you can we go twice. Didn't I already have two? I no, I, I started. It's just Cedric is like constantly dancing with you and you only. <laughs> That's why it appears that way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, then I'm asking uh, Cedric. <laughs> you may at this moment in the dance place your hand upon my elbow, my shoulder, my waist, or my hip. Which do you choose? Hip, of course. <laughs> I think uh, like his, uh, his hand like kind of stops at the waist uh, for a second and then you see like uh, I think it's when I when I come back from from dancing with uh, Evelyn uh, and and you see like I, I probably have this face of uh, uh, like a quite uh, serious face when when I like suddenly find myself uh, in uh, in your arms again and I like move my hand to to your waist and then I like start smiling and, and, and like move it down to to your hips <laughs> and um, Tanima whispers, "You've spoke with the lady Evelyn. What have you told her? What I've told you just now?" I think he has this like teasing look and and says, "I haven't you noticed I've spoken with everyone in this hall?" Of course. <laughs> he looks a bit disappointed that you're evading me. Yeah, that was not your question. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, that's it then. Um, we uh, now uh, pick up uh, a random card from uh, the pile. Were we supposed to draw a card at this scene? I don't think so, no. It says oh, in wait, setup, everyone so. present draws a card. I think you're right. Oh, yeah, yeah, we do, actually. I guess, yeah, sure. Well, that went a little wrong then, but... Why is... Oh. So, I guess we're doing that now. Yeah. And I really like that scene. <laughs> That's a good scene. Yeah. So, and it's uh, Evelyn's turn again to... Uh, George, to you still have to take the last card on the table. Oh. I'm sorry about that. Uh, take card. Uh, okay. Someone has a better hand now. <laughs> <laughs> and just also for for your information then if you have more than uh five cards you have to discard uh whatever card you want to get down to five again uh, also if you have uh, less than two you, you can draw two so it's uh evelyn's uh Turn to choose a uh, choose uh, scene. Yeah. What is a chase? Um, it is uh, quite literally uh, like you chasing someone. It could be like it's pretty open to interpretation, though. But you would uh, someone would chase uh, you would chase another uh, of the characters. So the ones we haven't gone that is uh, uh, not obvious is also the stealing time together, which is like the uh, a private moment. Uh, it's probably like, it's probably like the romance scene, most likely one at least. The other ones are pretty obvious, I guess. I get, except the chase. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
Um, We could also time skip here, so if opportunity. Uh, I'm sorry, that took a really long time. Uh, I was just reading reading the details of, of, of one of the games. Uh, I think I'd like to do Stealing Time together uh, with Sigmund. Uh, and I think I, uh, I think and at a certain point uh, later, I guess, but uh, I send uh, or a, me a messenger from from me arrives arrives to Sigmund uh, with with an invitation to a private audience. Um, in uh, God, where am I? Thing. Um, I think I have. I think I have a camp. Um, yeah. That I've arrived here with uh, a kind of large, a large like military cohort, basically. Uh, and so it's it's at my it's my pavilion and my tent. Uh, and I think we probably pick the scene up, and you've already arrived. Um, but it's it's not illicit, is it? No, it's not illicit. No. Although it's not necessary. There's, you get the sense you probably shouldn't mention it to others, even if it's not, even if it's not incriminating in and of itself. How old yeah. is Sigismund? Uh, Sigismund is um, early thirties, so oh. quite. Okay. Um, He's a little younger. Maybe that's why. He should so you and your counterpart draw a card. So we each get a draw a card. Yeah, and you both have to discard one of the cards you have on hand because you have six now, probably. I I have six now. And when does the discard happen? Uh, right away, or you can do it after a scene. Is I don't know if it matters. Uh, yeah, I'll do after, it after after one sense. Um. So how do you look to me? What's your mood? I think my mood is heavy. Um, like, especially in this place where I have to be in charge, uh, like there's, there's a kind of great weight uh, that is pressing me down. Um, But also, I'm I'm still doing my best to be to be cheerful, to smile. Um, and I think here I wear very kind of practical garb. Uh, with very little um, 
refinery. Um, only a kind of minimum. Only a kind of minimum of finery. No, nothing so, kind of wasteful or superfluous. So are we in a tent? If you said this is a camp, is this your? Yeah, camp? I think we're in, we're in a, we're in a tent. It's a large. Although it's it's a fine fine great pavilion. What color do your tents uh, have, or your camp have? Purple. Uh, the the color of house. There's too many windows. Uh, house Lunest. Yeah. Sigismund stands um, tall, shoulders um, back, looking formal, and is in a reserved mood. Um, not sure what the occasion actually is going to be. Lady Evelyn, thank you for ah. the invitation. Good six month time. Greatly pleased you could join me today. Uh, yes. She says, she tries to um, Was your journey well? I know it is a few miles from the castle here. Oh. No worries about that. It's nice to get a ride out every now and then. And my yeah. horse certainly appreciates it. Your horse seems like a fine battle charger, although I would not have taken him for a rider myself. All the king's guards horses need to be equipped. On such a horse, it seems it thrives more on gallops and charges than leisurely strolls through the forest. Tell me, Lord Sixman. You've never been married, yes? I have not. Is that the occasion that has brought me here this day? I have been betrothed. Yes, I did hear about that. A very sad story. I'm sorry. For what it's worth. Indeed. The green fever is not a pretty sight. I can tell you that. You know, it was most terrible when it took my Jacob. I'm sorry. But. I'm still standing at the spot where I was standing with like, um, uh, formerly my arms come in. back. Like, come in, sit down, sit down. At, a, at attention. Like, You're a guest here, not a soldier. Um, answering a formal invitation, but thank you. And he 
pretty stiffly sits down. All right, Lord Sixman, I won't beat around the bush then. You're clearly not the catty word game and clever banter type. Although, perhaps you're more of that than you seem at first glance. It seems to me you have the last word more often than one would think for a man of such taciturn bearing. Hmm. He grunts at that. So you do know how to laugh. You do not know how to laugh. It's so unpleasant. But yes, I need your house. My house. The arms and loyalty of House Oak. The great servant, it's the strong arm of the kings and queens of the Sword Coast. I need your house, and you want a throne. Um, I stand up and walk around the table. And um, I touch your hand, may I? Yes. I think for a moment I almost uh, jump back, but I allow it. And um, like I raise your hand and look at the uh, um, at the ring of your seal or something like something indicating your house and the jewelry that you wear there mm -hmm. and um, Yeah, I think, <laughs> um, in a way, I loosen your clothing, may I? Can I pull the ring off of your finger? Can you pull the ring off of my finger? That's a bit aggressive. Um... Well, you have a couple of other and um, options for answers. What are my options for answers? Are those specifically constrained? On the next page, those are the overtures we're supposed to be making. Uh, Uh, you may, but only for a moment, and then I withdraw to a less charged distance. Uh, oh, so I, I do have your ring now, though. Um, you take it back. I, I then I slide of it off your finger and, and hold it like that, so if, you, if it's fine, if you say only for a moment, then you might just grab it out of my hands. And... Okay, so I think... Do you ask if you can inspect her ring? No. I'm pulling no. it off a finger. I ask as a player. That's the question that I ask, right? 
may All I right, listen so you I, I was may just... I, and you you get to answer um, that but it doesn't have to be a literal uh, question or answer I think the lady Evelyn is just shocked enough like this this is just shocking and forward enough um that you may but only for a moment so what happens uh like i pull the ring off your finger and i'm holding it like open you pull the ring off my finger and you're holding it and there there's a moment where i'm trying to figure out did he just do what i think he just did if that makes sense yeah and i think you have the um have the stage there yeah but you you answered you may but only for a moment do you snatch it back or do you just retreat so this out of no moment. i don't i don't immediately snatch it back no no so um, no no i don't let's well, make, let's make yeah, this easier then 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 uh, yeah i take the ring and to put it down on the table And I say, what I want is what is best for the realm. And I look at you challenging your uh, assumption or preposition from earlier that way. Uh, and then you think I do not want what is best for the realm. I do not know or dare to suppose to know what your house wants. What's like Mm. What's like your house's like iconograph um like icon animal or something like that? I I think it's two ravens. Yeah, nice. Uh and they're facing each other. Yeah. And then they're and they're entwined somehow. Yeah. I yeah. never know with Lunest which raven is the one that's whispering in my ear. I am not like my sister, you know. Now I'm like completely that's this baffled look that crosses um, Sigismund's face, but then he quickly uh, re recomposes, looks at you questioningly. Sister, the queen. What happened? What happened to your sister? Uh, is is that you asking from off screen? Yeah. She's the queen of your country. Yeah, or she's she, she's she the, she's the queen. The... I I think I do not. 
lord over others, treat them like playthings in some kind of game. I'd not ask you here, Lord Sigmund, because I only thought it would be to my advantage that I could simply toy with things. I asked you here because I believed that our principles, because I believed that we shared something. May I touch your face? Um, you may, but only for a moment, and then I break off and depart. Fair enough. Uh, do you say any last words in parting? Um, well, how are you touching my face? Uh, I think it's just like I, I reach out. Um... And it's, it's kind of like a gentle caress. Um, I think my gaze is like almost like immediately drops. But then my head moves um, away from your touch. And I take a step back. Um kind of muster myself up and say um, I humbly beg you, your pardon my lady I think what at this time is? it is better that I take my leave and I like give a curt but a significant bow, not meeting your eyes again, and like turning uh, to not really waiting for an answer. But if you want to say something, it's definitely like an opportunity still. I'm not exactly like. What she says is, is go with God. I think but it's not go with god but it's to that effect um. so now you're showing each other your highest card yeah i think um there's also like a messenger entering um, now or something like bringing some messages or something like that, right? Yeah. So, but I only show it to you, right? Um, oh, best to do this. All right. So everyone else just has to tab out of the roll 20 while we flip our cards. Okay. Uh, I, I can whisper it to you if you trust me. <laughs> oh, I, oh, that works, too. So that's uh, slash W. Let's see. Is, is that on the roll 20 or? I'm doing it on roll 20, yeah. yeah. OK, slash W. There's space in between the W and the, um... Yeah, and if you start, yeah, exactly. If you start with an M, you'll get a drop down, and like it'll show you the options. Slash W space. Um... All right, you got that? Yep. All right, I got it as well. Cool. Um... Okay. And now I have to discard one because I have six. Is that correct? Uh, Any one I like, I assume. 
Yep. Okay. Um, um, I'm going to discard this one, I think. Yeah, and, and, uh, and now we're actually going to go to the coronation scene. Mm -hmm. so we're uh, closing up on uh, very, very fastly on this, uh, on the hour we're supposed to end. We had a very tense, romantic uh, scene. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, so we're not. Well, I guess this gives everyone a real scene round. So. Yeah, we have. Yeah. So and. Okay. I so wanted to go at war with my next scene, though. <laughs> yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, I can also see it's like, oh, there's so many things I want to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, but let's let's uh, uh, do the end game and then talk about it after. Um, so we're at the coronation. Uh, I'm everyone the... play draw their card before. Yeah, everyone draws one last card. Can you freely discard cards. Yeah. Well, you... freely only if you have more than uh, five. Okay, I so I couldn't uh... just. Uh, which, like jacks or twos that I had. No. Uh, you could have discarded it, I guess, in earlier, but when you had six, but well, you're gonna draw one card now. So, oh yeah, yeah I, I got the two as well. Uh, I was just curious. Um, I guess we we are. Um... Discarding our cards that are over five now before the coronation yes. because it's a bit unfair. Okay, so I need to check which cards are the best. I probably keep twos. Most face cards. Suits. Okay. I'm passing your card, Cedric. Oh. Where is it? Uh, on your character. Oh, right. Um. <laughs> Huh. Why would you do that? It's interesting. <laughs> Is that something I should do as well? Yeah, so we can go through the, the, the rules. If you yeah, if you choose, pass one card from your hand to an ally. Don't discuss it. Uh, and then afterwards, we'll reveal our hands to find out who has the crown and who is, has the house ascendant. Yeah, I assume this is, uh, we have to be at five cards. Right? Yeah, everybody is. Okay. Are we, should we ready to reveal? Yeah, I am. Okay. So first we can start with revealing our, uh, to, to find out uh, who the air is something this. Um, we find out who has the most face cards, including aces. And you can put your face cards down. I think this is the easiest, right? I'm mm. just putting all of them down at once. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so our... <laughs> Air Assumptant is uh, Evelyn. Uh, that's uh, This player has their Air Assumptant. In, uh, in a case of a tie, go buy the highest card. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But you have three. Um, Interesting. 
that 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 gives that last scene a um a very very different read. I like it. <laughs> so, and uh, one of the other uh, of the other players find the player with the most suits represented in their hand. This player is the house ascendant. Uh, in case of a tie, all tying houses are ascendant. So, how many suits uh, do you have? I think we all have three, right? Or does someone have four? I have. You have I four. Think I have four. Yeah. yeah, you have four. Your house ascendant. Um, which card is the one above? This one. Oh. Wait, I'm confused. How many cards do you have, Tina? <laughs> I have five. Okay. Are those your cards below mine? Cards I don't know. That's the uh, cards that we discarded. Oh, okay. Um. Wait, what's the suit again? I'm confused. Suit is uh, of the same kind. Yeah. So okay. you have yeah. three, and she has four, and I have three. So um, first, we do the coronation. The heir something is crowned. Uh, heir something. Answer these questions. What is the nature of the ceremony? Um, there's probably a doctor involved. <laughs> I think, okay. I think there's actually two ceremonies, kind of, um, like the first is, is the traditional coronation for the the kingdom of, of Bantiv, where I, um, I receive, I receive the crown, um, from the keeper of the jewels, uh, and uh, and kneeling before the, uh, the kind of great conclave of Bantivan nobles, uh, as to signify that I am their first servant. Um, I place it on my own head. Um, but, uh, after I think there is, um, a cleric of, of the new, the new faith, uh, comes and this is an innovation. Um, at least it hasn't been used in the Royal coronation ceremony before, and then I think my head is anointed with oils. Uh, to signify the sanctified nature of, of, of my majesty. Cool. Um, which houses are invited to attend and which are forced to attend? I think um, I think all of the houses are invited to attend. Whether they appear or not is another question. Yeah, the obvious question, I guess, is uh, does House Antire attend? <laughs> um, am I forced to? No, you're not forced to attend, but the I don't think the options here are attendance or forced attendance so much as between attendance and fire and sword. <laughs> well, this is about the person or the house. I mean, I guess my house attends Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I think uh, uh, Sandrail also attends. I mean, yeah. Spoke. 
if invited, they attend. I think that's so. That's other it. players uh, answer by show of hands. Like, okay, so uh, which hmm. which of us personally attend the ceremony? Yeah, I think Cedric does too. <laughs> yeah, everyone attends. And which of us personally support the crown? <laughs> I think that about like sums up the kind of I uh, have to put it quorum isn't quite the right word, but well, let's we'll see. That's the last question here. Um, the mandate. <laughs> Yeah, which of us will personally fight or continue to fight against the new crown? Wait, wait, I, I don't have the thing open. Who raised their hand? Will Antar not fight the crown? This is very disappointing. Um, oh, personally, but you personally, I mean, will Kamina not fight? I won't. Okay. No, I'm just waiting. I think she's dying. Well, you get your own questions now. Yeah. For your house. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, House Ascendant, answer this question. Do you serve the new crown, support the new crown, hold the new crown to heal, or openly oppose the new crown? I think I'm going to serve the new crown, but... Yeah, that's I your house, be... right? Yeah, that's your house. The oh. question is about your house now about the house okay um, i think my house will openly oppose the new crown yes post new crown uh, here is something to answer this question do you honor and glorify them uh, look to them for leadership grant them due respect defy them to do their worst or outlaw them and try to break them about the house ascendant. Yeah. Um, I lost the page. Uh, there we are. Um, I think I outlawed them and tried to break them. Cool. Oh. Yeah, I think it sounds about right to me too. So now we go for the Doom cards and let's see what actually happens. <laughs> yeah, this is like I should have read this thing first before giving you my card. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so uh, it's jacks and twos, right? Which we all have got some. I guess, or except, oh no, you even have two twos. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> We're all doomed. Maybe we go from the top to bottom, just read this out loud. Who has the two of clubs? Um, I do. Right? Yeah. I always get confused. Um, uh, yeah. No. Well, I think that's. Uh, then, uh, is that the two of spades? The two of no, clubs? No, that's the two of spades. The two of clubs uh, is not. In yeah, the... I had it. I discarded no, 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 it. Not the... it oh, okay. Uh, two of diamonds. None that's, of that. That's. Uh, okay. I have the two of diamonds. Oh, yeah. Uh, so the two of diamonds is the towns and cities of Banti began to assert the power of their wealth, defying the ancestral rule of the noble houses. This is what your <laughs> your new world order brings, right? It <laughs> it empowers the peasants. This is uh, two of hearts. We had no, none of those, right? Well, exactly. That's how when the foreign. Yeah. The foreign queen breaks the power of the local nobles by empowering other people. And losing their power in the process. Yeah, and we do have two of hearts as well. Evelyn has that too. Uh, an outlandish new faith takes hold among the common people of Banti, who abandon in great numbers the gods of their ancestors. Also unsurprising, oh. basically. <laughs> yes. Well, how could this be any better? 
<laughs> so I, I maybe I don't succeed in quashing House Antire, but no matter what the uh, religious Old demographic bent yes. has been. But but no, abandoning the old gods brings fam um, brings famine that ruins the harvest and the people of Bentif face a desperate I killing told winter. You. I told you the old gods are real. <laughs> yeah, and then we have the uh, Jack of uh, Diamonds. Uh, that's mine, locked. I think. Yeah. The new crown bankrupts their house and must go begging to the other noble houses for support. Oh. Hey, war's expensive. <laughs> yeah, and, and peasant <laughs> uprisings <laughs> and famines yeah. too. Yeah. Kind of hard to gather an army. Beg to my sister. It's yeah. humiliating. She it gives me nothing. Yeah, and then there's the uh, Jack of uh, Hearts, uh, a rival heir, discovers a new and undeniable legitimate claim to the crown. And I think definitely that is uh, Cedric. Uh, I think it's like uh, uh, I think it's like a, a, a person of this new religion actually, actually that proclaims that uh, at the time of uh, famine, uh, a rival uh, a, a heir of uh, this house is. Uh, uh, of the house, uh, old uh, house of, uh, uh, and then it's like not Sandradale, but it's something that's obviously pointing towards it, uh, like the house of the the single raven, uh, of the single raven, which is ironic since you also have two ravens in your uh, in your crest uh, that must uh, take power to to uh, save uh, the land from from famine and uh, and war, uh, and Cedric. Um, and I'm just going to go to the one year later since we are, are finished with our uh, part, I think. And Cedric like, takes up, uh, takes this calling as the, uh, a good time to take up arms uh, against the crown as he has not been involved into, into, uh, in the wars uh, very much yet. Uh, and with his army, uh, he, he marches towards the, the uh, castle, old castle of, uh, of the dead king. And now, together with the uh, with the entire house, probably. Yes, that's what I was going to say. It's not. It's not my turn. <laughs> Evelyn's turn. Right. I think we can go in. I. I like uh, whichever is. Oh, okay. Good well, how's entire is actually following. How Sandoriel and um. Tanima has changed her mind about about the crown and she's opposing this new religious stuff and, and, and it's all turned out so badly. She's joined forces with Sandrail, of course, and the long blonde mane is she didn't need much convincing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh given all and this Yeah. Oh please. <laughs> Four, four, and yeah, useful alliances. <laughs> Given all this, one year later, um, Sigismund um, is lying head down in the muck. Um, bleeding from a from a wound uh, to the head, um, having been clubbed to death in a peasant's uprising. Oh no! You think this one? <laughs> and Evelyn. Uh. I think one year later, the the Lady Evelyn, Queen Evelyn, um, 
is just going all the time to try and keep things above water. Uh, like the crown's in terrible debt, there's war and uprising, there's a, there's, a, there's a famine, we still have to deal with pacifying the antires. Um, like there's, there's just, there's so much responsibility. Um, and I think, you know, like, I don't know if you've ever seen like those before and after pictures of presidents. Mm -hmm. Like I Obama before. Uh, like, uh, like there's definitely a little bit of like that. I mean, it's not she wasn't old already. Um, but even even a year on the crown and she's noticeably on the throne and, and then she's noticeably more haggard. Um, and I think, like, there's a, there's a new, a new chapel that's been built in, in the castle, uh, and after a kind of, of day, of, you know, war councils and royal proceedings and all sorts of other kind of heavy work and terrible kind of decisions. Um, I think we see Queen Evelyn and it's, she, she's tossing and turning in her bed and she gets up and goes to the chapel um, and we hear her praying, but we can't understand what she says because it's in her own language and it's not in the language of the of the people of this country. Nice. Cool. I think that uh, is uh, our game, folks. Yeah. Uh, thanks for playing the the king instead. Um, Thank you for facilitating. Yeah. I'm just gonna stop the broadcast, and we can we can have like a short talk uh, about the game afterwards if you want, or yeah. anything feedback or stuff.